Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to harvest company emails. So we are still in the information gathering phase and a very important step in information gathering is getting the staff emails. I mean, if you can get the emails of the essential staff, then there's so much we can do with it. Um, we could check to see maybe if the email account has been compromised somewhere, maybe its credentials are somewhere. Uh, we could also use it for social engineering. I will discuss about that in later videos. But what we want to do right now is to first get the company emails. And uh, we are still using this site, that's hackthissite.org. We are using it as our target. Remember, you should always, you, I mean, your target should always, you should always make sure you have written permission. Don't just go hacking any site or even getting information from any, from any site whatsoever if you don't have written permission to do that. So, for this step, I'll be using a tool known as the Harvester. So if I come to the Start menu and I type the Harvester, you see it's already here, the Harvester. So we could also start it from the terminal as well. So if I click the terminal and I just type the harvester so this is going to load up the harvester it's a very um it's a very wonderful tool you could use it to you know get subdomains you could use it to get email accounts so already this is showing you the usage this is how to use it but if you are not too sure again remember what we said always type help so we could say the harvester dash dash help or dash h anyone so these are the options these are how you can use it um dash d for domain dash l to limit it to limit the number of search results you know and um that should be for the source so it's just so easy there's really nothing to it so now i want to find email accounts associated with this hack this site dot org so what I'll do I'll come here and I'll type the harvester now <clears throat> the usage we said dash D for domain so I'll say dash D and the domain is hack this site dot org okay and now we want to limit it to let's say um, 500, the first 500 search results. So we're going to use the dash L switch, say dash L 500. And what's our source? Um, let's use Google. So B, we'll use Google. These are some of the <coughs> options. You can use um, DocDocGo, GitHub code, Google. So let's use Google. So we'll say dash B, we'll say Google, because I like Google. So once I press enter, this is just going to take a while. It's going to search Google. Now, so far, what we are doing, it's um, passive um, passive reconnaissance. We are not actually touching the, uh, the target yet. You know, this information, this is open source information, open source intelligence, I mean, what it's doing is searching Google, all right? It's searching Google for those emails. So we have not started touching the target yet. We need to, you know, do adequate information gathering before we decide to touch the target. So you see, it's searching, searching the first 100 results, 200 results, 300 results, 400 results, and then 500 results. After 500 results, it's going to display. Now the search is complete. The harvester found three email addresses related to our target. It also found five hosts. So this is another option also to find subdomains. If you recall from the last video, we used recon-ng and reconning was a lot more effective than using the harvester. So you see there are several tools which could give you the same results some are better than others so it depends on you it depends on your preference 
Now, if you noticed, if we had we used them um, 500 as the limit to the number of search results, if we had increased it maybe to 700, we might have gotten a lot more email addresses. We might have gotten more hosts as well. If we had also used a different source apart from Google, we might have gotten a different number of email addresses. Now, there are so many sources one could use, not just Google. If I scroll up to the help menu, you see we have so many sources which we can use over here. There's DuckDuckGo. We can also search through via LinkedIn. We could also use a very, very good one, which I happen to like, Hunter. Now, for you to use something like Hunter, you need to have an API key. I'm going to show you how Hunter works and how very effective Hunter is. This is Hunter. You can find it at hunter.io. It's a site that lets you find email addresses in seconds. So you could find email addresses for any business. You know, a lot of marketers use it. You know, if you want to get email addresses related to a certain business, you could come over here, register, and you could just start searching away. But then, in the hands of a hacker, it can also give you the same results. You want to find, you know, the email addresses for a certain company to hack this site. I just come to hunter.io and I come here and put hack this site dot org. Now, for you to get the email addresses, you need to sign up. So if I click on that, you see it has given me a lot more. You see, seven more results apart from this one, a lot more than what the harvester gave me. So, but then to use this, you would need to sign up for the site. So then, like I said, you have so many options when it comes to tools. There is no one single tool that could that could do a certain task. There's so many of them. So it's left for you now to go play with the tools a little bit. See how it's done. If you are stuck, just type help. And remember, you need to keep practicing because consistency over time is success. So with this, I come to the end of this video. In the next video, I will continue on information gathering and show you a lot more cool tools. Remember what I said, the better you are at information gathering, the better your job would be when it comes to hacking.